Today I gonna talk about the Homestead installation on Windows. Homestead is an official Laravel development environment package. It resolves the execution discrepancy in different dev environments. It uses automation software, Vagrant, to achieve the unified dev environment. Today I will use Hyper-V as the VM platform. Then by editing homestead.yaml to customize my virtual machine. So you could connect the VM via SSH using PuTTY. Source code will be shared between your PC and the VM via SMB. All software download links can be found in the description. Let's begin to install Git. Execute Git install, just follow the default options. Nano Editor is recommended for beginners. Git is currently the most popular and must learn version control systems for the programmer. Then now Git installation is completed. If you want to connect to GitHub you must own the SSH key. Homestead needs SSH key to work properly too. GitHub site talks about two different algorithms to generate SSH key. We will be using the common RSA algorithm. Open Git Bash. Copy and paste the command, then modify the email address. Press enter to accept the default path. The passphrase is recommended, but do not forget it. Once the SSH key is created, you will see .ssh folder in your user folder. Two files should be in the .ssh folder. The one without file extension is private key, another one is public key. If you are using SSH key authentication, you need to paste the public key content on GitHub. We don't elaborate on this section for now. We quickly install other tools, first install PuTTY. Then install the free tool to navigate databases. Open Windows PowerShell with administrator right. Use the command to quickly install. If you are using third-party virtualization software, you need to install Hypervisor Platform. Restart the computer after the installation. Install Vagrant just keep pressing next, then require to restart the computer. Vagrant install is completed, then click yes to restart the computer. Open command prompt then key in Vagrant. Verify Vagrant is functioning properly. 
Then input Vagrant plugin install. Vagrant dash host manager. If you encounter any errors, double check your antivirus for false detection, then input the same command and retry. Install this plugin to update the Windows host's file automatically. Open Git Bash. You can get the latest info from the official Laravel site. We need to copy this command to pull the homestead from GitHub repo. Paste to Git Bash then execute. Notice the homestead folder is created. Now we can a CD into the homestead directory. Then check out the release branch. You should see the branch is changed to release. Open the homestead folder, look for the file in it.bat. Execute, then it generates the homestead.yaml and other config files. Homestead.yaml lets you customize your VM environment. We talk in detail later. Open command prompt. We need to download the Homestead Vagrant box, it is the official original VM image. Key in. Vagrant box. Add Laravel slash Homestead. Then press enter. Select one, Hyper-V. Quite some people are stuck here or suffer extremely slow download speed. So I provide my alternate solution here. You can go to this URL to download a 2GB Hyper-V compressed image. In user folder look for the .vagrant.d. Then, Boxes folder. Then extract the content into the folder. After extraction, you may open the folder and see the box version. Again open the command prompt, then key in Vagrant box list to confirm. You can see the Homestead Vagrant box exists. Now we're going to configure Windows Shared folder. We need to create the Windows user for Homestead. Key in LUSR, MGR, dot, MSC, go to the User Management Console. Click Users, then right-click and select New User. Input Vagrant as username. Then entering the password. Check the options for Unable to Change Password and Never Expired. Click Create. It should be just normal user's privilege. Open user's folder. We need to create a code folder for the source code. Right click the homestead folder and select properties. Click on the security tab and press edit. Adding the newly created user. Check the full control permissions then click OK. Verify the permission, then click OK. Doing the same on the code folder. Only two folders are required to be shared with VM. Now we need to create virtual switch, let's open Hyper-V Manager. Key in NC, PA, dot, CPL, to open network connections. I will demo the steps for wired connection. You should see your network card and a Hyper-V default switch. We need an external switch to connect to the internet. Open Virtual Switch Manager. Select External. Then click Create Virtual Switch. Name it as External Switch. Select your network card. 
Click OK. Click Yes. Take a look at the created virtual switch. Try speedtest.net to check whether your internet is slowed down. If it is slowed down significantly, you can try to turn off LSO. Right click the new virtual switch, then select properties. Click configure, then select the advanced tab. Select large send offload version to IPv4 and make it disabled. Set disabled for IPv6 too. Verify then click OK. If you are using Wi-Fi for the internet, it needs some tricks. First, open the virtual switch manager. Select external, then click create virtual switch. Name it as external switch. Select your Wi-Fi adapter. Click OK, then click Yes. Quickly switch to the network connections window. Disable the Wi-Fi adapter immediately. Then, enable it again. You should be able to see the bridge appearing. Then you will see the external switch. If you see these three items, your virtual switch is created successfully. Back to your virtual switch manager to verify. If your internet speed is slowed down, you can turn off LSO like what I did for local area network. Open Homestead folder, then use VS code openhomestead.yong. We cannot fix the IP for Hyper-V, the IP is assigned by your router. Add a hash in front or delete the line. For memory and CPU, please follow your available resources, the default value is sufficient. Then set the provider as Hyper-V. Then the SSH key has been created previously, nothing to change here. Then the shared folder. I created a code folder in my user directory. Then copy and paste the folder path. By doing this, the VM and Windows able to share a single folder, notice the second line is the path in the VM. Then set the type to SMB. Input the previously created username and password. Now it is the local domain name. Later we going to kickstart a Laravel project which is called, Sample. For now, we do not need to create the folder, we just set the correct path. Followed by the database name. Make sure that my SQL to be true. Save the edited homestead.yaml document. Let's open the Hyper-V Manager. Remember that only run Vagrant up in the directory where Vagrant file locates. You must run the command prompt with administrator write. Then copy the path. CD and paste the copied path. CD into Homestead directory. Then execute Vagrant up. Select the external switch we created in the previous step. Input 1, then press enter to continue. IP is obtained from your router. You can see two corresponding shared folders. The host manager, helped us updating the Windows host file. Waiting for the script to complete. We can use Notepad to verify the host's file. Notice the host manager added the entries for us. Open PuTTY and try to log in VM. Key in, Homestead for the host name. Click Open then Accept. Input username, Vagrant. Input password, Vagrant. If you can see this screen, congratulations! 
Here are a few common commands. Up is boot up, halt is shut down. Vagrant reload is rebooting the VM. Vagrant provision is applying the edited homestead.yaml. We also can log in via the SSH key we created in the previous step. Look for Putty Gem in the Start menu. Select Conversions, then Import Key. Confirm the path, then select the private key. Click Save Private Key. If the passphrase is blank, it will remind you. Double check and then save. Do not replace the original private key. Key in ID underscore rsa.ppk, then click Save, Open Putty. Input Vagrant at Homestead for the host name. By doing this, we can save the username. Expand the SSH, then select Off. Select the generated private key. Back to the session screen. Key in Homestead is the session name, then save. Next time, you can just open Putty, then double click Homestead to log in directly. Browse the Laravel official documentations, you can obtain the latest installation guide. I will demo how to create the first project using Laravel installer. Copy this command, then back to putty and pasting it. Change it to be update. Laravel installer is now updated successfully. Let's see the code go into the shared folder. Execute, Laravel new sample. Press enter and start the installation. Notice the sample folder appears. Open the folder should see all Laravel project files. Then open it with VS Code. Open the .env file. Modify the DB name to be sample underscore DB. The username is Homestead. And password is secret. Save the modified content. Return to the putty. CD sample into the project directory. Run PHP Artisan dash dash version to check the installed version. Then test the database connection. Execute PHP Artisan migrate. Migration complete. Let's check the DB using Heidi SQL. Click new to create a new profile. Input the profile name. Select using SSH tunnel connection. Input Homestead as the SSH host. The username is Vagrant. Select your private key. Back to the settings page, set the DB username as Homestead and the password is secret. Then save it. Try to click the open button. You should be able to see the migrated tables. Finally, in the browser, type in sample.test. Then you will see the Laravel welcome page. Thanks for watching. Please press the like button and subscribe to my channel and click the bell to turn on the new video notification. See you all soon. Thank you.